Hello travelers, Vagar24 here. We've all fallen victim to a hyped up travel brochure. You know, the ones with suspiciously vibrant sunsets and unpopulated landmarks. Today, we're diving into the top 10 most disappointing places to visit in the USA. Watch till the end and let us know if you agree or have other spots in mind. First up, we're teleporting ourselves to the supposed crossroads of the world Times Square. Now I get it, seeing it in pictures, all those dazzling lights, massive billboards, it screams excitement. But in reality, imagine being stuck in a swarm of selfie sticks and slow walking tourists, all while battling the urge to surrender your wallet to overpriced souvenir shops. The sensory overload is real, my friends. It's enough to make you miss the sweet serenity of your own couch. Next, we're sauntering down the Hollywood Walk of Fame where dreams go to, well, be stepped on. It's a glorified parking lot with some famous names etched into it. You're more likely to encounter a pigeon selling a fake Rolex than Leonardo DiCaprio. The stars themselves are looking a little worse for wear. Cracked, faded like your hopes and dreams after visiting. Ahoy, mateys! We're setting sail for Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco, where sourdough bread bowls reign supreme. But the street performers, souvenir shops, and overpriced seafood restaurants can make you seasick. And don't even get me started on the sea lions. Adorable, but their aroma lingers. Now, we're venturing into the neon-drenched desert oasis that is the Las Vegas Strip. It's a place where you can lose your shirt, your dignity, and possibly your will to live, all in one night. The constant sensory overload, the relentless jingling of slot machines, the faint scent of desperation, it's enough to make you want to swear off casinos and embrace a life of quiet contemplation. Next up, we're taking a plunge into Niagara Falls. Now I'll admit, the sheer power of the falls is impressive, but the surrounding area? Let's just say it's a masterclass in commercial exploitation. You've got your wax museums, your haunted houses, your gift shops selling every Niagara Falls-themed trinket imaginable. It's enough to make you wonder if the natural wonder itself is starting to feel a little self-conscious. Okay, history buffs, we're about to step back in time as we explore the Freedom Trail in Boston. Now, I appreciate a good historical landmark, but this trail often feels less like a journey through revolutionary history and more like a crowded game of follow the leader. You're constantly jostling for space with tour groups, trying to decipher faded plaques and dodging rogue pigeons. Plus, let's be honest, some of those historical landmarks could use a good power washing. Remember the Alamo? Well, after visiting you might not. Look, I respect the historical significance of the place, but let's be honest, it's not exactly the sprawling fortress Hollywood might have led you to believe. You can walk around the entire thing in about 10 minutes, and then you're left wondering if maybe you missed something. Plus, the gift shop sells Alamo-shaped refrigerator magnets. Refrigerator magnets? It's enough to make you question the very fabric of history. Next, we're off to the Mall of America, a monument to consumerism. I enjoy a good shopping spree, but this mall is so massive it's like the death star of retail. You could spend days wandering its endless corridors accumulating credit card debt. Plus, they have an amusement park inside. It's like they're daring you to never leave. Fasten your seatbelts because we're blasting off to the Space Needle in Seattle. Now I'll admit, the views from the top are pretty spectacular, but are they worth the exorbitant ticket price? That's debatable. You're essentially paying for a very expensive elevator ride and the privilege of being herded around a crowded observation deck. Plus, let's be honest, the Space Needle itself is starting to look a little dated. Finally, we're shaking our hips over to Graceland, the former home of Elvis Presley. Now, if you're an Elvis fanatic, this place is probably a pilgrimage-worthy destination. But for the rest of us, it might feel a little, shall we say, underwhelming. You're essentially touring a time capsule from the 1950s, complete with shag carpets and velvet paintings. Plus, be prepared to shell out some serious cash for the privilege. So, these were our picks for the top 10 disappointing places to visit in the USA. Remember, travel is all about managing expectations and seeking out authentic experiences. Don't just tick off landmarks from a list. Venture off the beaten path, embrace the unexpected, and most importantly, have a good laugh at the absurdity of it all. 
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts below. Safe travels.